Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Unify, where today we'll be discussing the guest portal page in depth into a certain distance where we can actually configure from scratch how you access the, the portal page, create it, and also how you can manage your vouchers and the different setup for your portal page for your guests. So first we'll be going to our settings, and then you will be going over to your Wi-Fi network. And as you can see here, I have FJ free Wi-Fi. This you can edit it. And it's just the same as creating a new SSID. You put in your information, enable this, and you're going to leave it open. And then you're also going to enable apply guest policies, captive portal, guest authentication. Now you can also create a network for this. So you could choose from the default and any other network that you have created. So you could have this separated for your guests. All right, once you click save, all those changes have been made. You're now going to go over to your guest control. Now, once you enable your guest control, you will have access to all the different type of configuration to ensure that your system is robust enough and you have the flexibility. So you can start from no authentication. And as you can see, when I change things, you're gonna see things change here, for example, it's just basically going to give you the terms and condition and just get access. That's no, with, with no authentication. Now, if I want hotspot, you're now going to get the option to put in your voucher or you could give it out, try it for free. You can choose which one, Facebook, um, ex external, where you basically have an external server that's doing all the authentication. But for this video, we're going to do hotspot. Now, as you go down line, you will realize that there are a lot of features there, a lot of things that you can configure. And you will realize that you can do your welcome message. You can enable or disable that. You can put in your different welcome message for your persons to see your guests. You can also edit the terms and condition where you can literally just put in terms and condition that you'd want persons to agree, agree to, to use access to this Wi-Fi. So you can do that. You can also disable it if you want to so that they don't need to agree to anything. Um, also, you have the option to do a custom logo if you want. You can upload a custom logo or you can take the one that is already there or remove it. You can change the background color. You can actually put an image there if you'd want to put an image there for your background. You can change the color, as I said, which you can go to red, green, blue, any color you like prefer to you can change the background to that um, the text color all the different colors you can change them and you can have also a view a preview of their desktop you can also have a preview for your mobile de mobile device now with all of this being said now what about your different type of authentications now the different type of authentications would have been like for example um, enable your voucher you can just let me unclick all of these so you have enable voucher base, which means that you can actually enter your um, their vouchers that you have created for them. All right. So for your different type of authentication, you have your um, voucher based authentication. You have payment, password, radius, Facebook, Google, WeChat. All right. So, for example, say you'd like for a person to get a free trial, you could do the payment and then you will see where the option is here for your free trial. Now, what I've done on many occasions sometimes is just to put in something random for the terminal ID and put in something random as well for one of the different types of payment methods so that it's we can just use it without having to use the actual payment gateway. And I do this just so that we can get the free trial now, with the free trial, I can give the option for how long I'd want the person to be connected for. So, for example, the free trial can be, uh, for example, 21 minutes to um, 120 minutes. And I can say a lockout for 24 hours. <clears throat> or I can put in, say, 240 hours. Now, that's going to give them a pretty long time. So all you have to do is calculate the amount of time that you want the person to be locked out for before they can get another trial. So you don't want somebody to have a trial every single day. They can come and just get a trial for very long. So if you want it for every 24 hours, you can say, okay, then for 60 minutes, 
which is an hour, you can get a trial every day, 60 minutes only. And then if you want the option also for a password, you would get the option for password as well. Um, you would remove, <coughs> you would put the password there and you would add and put in the password that you'd want for your guests. So you could put internet there and that would give you the option there for your actual password to put in the password there. So you have a lot of options there, Radius, Facebook, all of those that can put inside of it. So what, for example, say we have all of this saved already, right? Your voucher and your free trial, we can now save. And then, okay, then, all right, that went through. Good. We could do that a different way. All right, so um, now that we have done this, we would now go to our hotspot manager. What our hotspot manager does now is that it manages our vouchers. So the vouchers that we'd want to create for each person, you would go down to here, the vouchers. These are all the vouchers that I've created thus far. But what if I want to create a new one? All I would say is like, for example, 10, 10 vouchers, and these are for a one time, or multi-use, or multi-use unlimited. Difference between these is one time use, meaning that only one device can use at a time. Multi-use, you can name the amount of device that can use it at a time. Unlimited is unlimited amount. So you can create a single voucher for a thousand persons to use. And once you reach that thousand person, if you use the multi-use, once they put in the amount, then it doesn't, nobody else can get access. And if it's unlimited, it just never stops. The duration, you can set it for eight hours or you can go use um, user defined, which can say, okay, then I need each person to get access for 10 days or 10 hours or 10 minutes. And uh, I personally don't normally use these settings because these are just like quotas that actually just gives you the figures. And I just put a note there. For example, I can say 10 min voucher and then i would just save that for i would say one time use 10 minutes and i'd say just create one and i put that for about 10 hours save and then at the top you'd see 10 minutes voucher 10 hours valid for one time use and there you have it for that now, if you're doing the payment, you'd see the payment transaction in this, which I haven't done any as yet. And you'd also see the guests, the persons that are connected by voucher. You can disable the person, connect the person, meaning that you can revoke them. If there's somebody got a password or something that you do not want on the network, you can revoke them from here. And then, and then with this now, the statistic here, you can actually basically see all the usage the new users returning, all of that. So you basically get like a, a accounting somewhat of your vouchers if you're doing like a business from it and gives you an overview of it. So what we're going to do now is just show you an example of the page coming up on the phone to show you how it would look. Now that we're connected to our phone, let's search for FJ's wi free Wi-Fi. Once we're connected to it, we now should see our page pop up. There we go. Now the process is that we're going to enter our voucher that we had created earlier and we should get internet access. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we have entered our voucher, now let's press connect. And there we go. We now have internet access via our new voucher system. Thank you for watching.